I'm Spencer. And I'm Esther. And, and this, this is, is our, our studio. studio. Originally, this barn was an old two-story redwood barn that burned down and we rebuilt it a number of years ago, over 20 years ago. Then it became a piano shop. And then I restored phonographs and gramophones. And then when we uh, moved the music store and the piano store out here, this became what you see here, and we started doing assemblage art and collecting pieces inside the barn. We are assemblage artists, and assemblage artists are people who take objects, put them together in new and different ways, and create art in terms of sculpture or flat work. The organization is really important because we know where the wood stuff is, and the jewels are going to be over here, and the, the right screws. Yep, the barn is actually really full. We have stuff hanging from the ceilings. We have uh, cabinets and we try to label things and keep things as organized as possible. In our studio is the magic you've always thought you wanted to find. And the objects that go along with it. Vintage irons. Game pieces. Ivory. Beads. Piano legs. Hair. Original Edison light bulbs. Zithers. 19th century anything. Edison gramophone horns. Railroad tracks. Microphones. Clock parts. Bones. Gears. Lots of gears. Fans. Fan clubs. Pearls. Candlestick telephones. Vintage toasters. Tube anything. Uh, yes, we can. you can pretty much go wherever you want to go here from uh, acupuncture dolls to uh, skeleton keys to mannequin heads. This is from an 1838 British piano, 1838. But this is all hand carved. And both, it's just phenomenal woodwork. It's 180 years old. So it was wow. twice as thick. Now, because we sliced it down the middle, we have two, four of them instead of two. So I was laying on the table and I went, oh my God. actually dropping things off now. They know that we collect. We get surprises on our front porch or even boxes in the barn. I'm really into vintage, very old stuff. And so to be actually get the right part, right screw, right wood from that decade, from another century, wow. is important to what I do. I mix and match. I can use plastic and old vintage stuff in the same piece. So uh, I'm not as particular as Spencer. We do influence each other. Um, Quite a bit. I'm mm. a little bit more vintage uh, aware, and he brings a little bit more bling. And <laughs> <laughs> So we have a lot of fun in here. Sometimes we'll go two or three weeks. We're not coming in here at all. We go in, we go in phases. Yeah, it depends on the weather. It depends right. on if How we're busy tired. We, we both work. I'm a psychotherapist, and I teach horseback riding. I do all kinds of piano technician work over two counties and as well as consult with a bunch of different people. And a musician, and a composer, and a pianist. Life is full. And as you can see, our, our studio is kind of a reflection of the fullness in our life. Um, some of it is actually from people's collection. Mm. After they died, the right. widow would contact Spencer and say, I have this warehouse of, of radios or warehouse of um, fire engine equipment or, or records. Like all these radios up here are from one collection. We call this our happy place. <laughs> this is a room that is serious about creativity, mm. having fun. 
is about this room. Because we come in here, start playing, we put on 1960s and 70s vintage vinyl. moment. I'm stress-free, playful, childlike, in touch with my intuition. Doing a cinemage art marries two or three disciplines for me. One, working with my hands. I love working with my hands. I love, I really love the craftsmanship of things that have been made from the person who drew it to the person who first made it to the people who used it and to the person who discarded it. And then I get to find it and discover it all over again. Ten circus figures. Most of them from Britain, and they are part of the entire thing. This obviously is a very old, it's quite heavy, it's solid metal, and it fe feels right to go up there. That went up today, and the last thing that got sewn this morning is this is going to be the circus curtain. I had this particular piece. This is from one pump organ, the front of it, and this is from a different pump organ, the, the pipes. Both of these were pump organs in the late 19th century, and. I've been keeping these for a long time, like two or three years, waiting for something else to show up, and I didn't know what it was gonna be, and this is what happened. Somebody dropped off this button accordion from France, also 19th century, and I thought, there it is. That's what's gonna turn this thing into huh. the sculpture. So I put on these pipe organ pipes and joined these two things together, put on these, which were basically bookends, and then I collected vintage circus figures. These are 10 circus figures. This book is from, I think, 1897, 1898, Historic Worlds. And this was a piece that Esther and I had worked on years ago when we were, took a workshop. And of course, I got this uh, alligator or crocodile skull, did all the jewels on it. So I'm getting very, very close to having this thing done. So we really love art cars. These are like regular cars that are decorated from with jewels or cameras, astroturf or toys. And but they're way too big for us. So and you have to store them, etc. So I decided that we would do a miniature art car out of um, old toys. This is a pedal. Um, it's like a pedal fire engine. Pedal fire engine, that's right. In the 50s or 60s, <clears throat> solid. So we spray painted, it was red, I spray painted it uh, black. black and then started um, on two of the wheels, put it sideways and just glued all kinds of stuff. This has got pennies in it, money, and, uh, and turquoise, uh, fake turquoise jewelry. And then this one's got, uh, this one's interesting. Territory, sure. It's got, it's a sea thing, 
and it's got abalone and this is the the little stones you put in the bottom of an aquarium someone gave us a whole bag of them <laughs> you're making a commitment when you glue and it's like um it's it's hard and very 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 occasionally i've taken something off but mostly you just if i just start gluing it's like okay the creative process is it's done and I have to accept it. So as I'm talking about this piece, I really didn't think about the journey and I just thought like what goes together and what pieces I, I'm most attracted to right now. This is part of a piano. We just got at, at a sale, it went, came with Mahjong pieces, and I don't know how they are, but it looks like it's some <laughs> kind of a game, and they're made out of ivory. There's a foot here. There's a gorilla behind, encaged in a fork. There's bullets and game pieces, and, you know, I could talk about how life is a journey and how, you know, there's danger, and music and games and uh, opportunities. And we're always, you know, we're taking one step ahead. The thing is that everyone sees art differently. I'm sometimes a little reluctant to say too much because mm -hmm. then I'm in influencing the person. Sometimes we si sell them online and sometimes we do commissions. It's, it it's only just takes two people to carry it. Yeah. It's easy to carry. And we're in the process of getting a, a plexiglass type of cover for it because it is getting dusty just sitting around. It's this guy. And um, so for storing it as well as when we go to galleries. And and people are awed by it, you know. Sorry. The egg beaters are always a, um, a pull. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, these are vintage toys and... Um, of course, every car has got to have... Uh, golf clubs. Golf clubs. <laughs> yeah, someone brought us like a whole a dozen and a half golf clubs and we said, what are we going to do with them? First thing is, okay, they'll, they fit the car. Two are going on there. And tell her who the mascot is in the front. Oh, uh, well, this is a Barbie that I had defeated <laughs> years ago and was going to put on a horse, but it just didn't quite look right. And I wasn't happy with the face, beating the face. It just, uh, so I was looking around for a mask and here it is. Yeah. And then once she did this side, then she said, okay, your turn. And I did this <laughs> side, which had, these are all ivories off pianos and then different musical instruments. Esther did the wheels once again. And the back is Captain Kirk. Key. These are all keys. And these right here are all the keys that we can play in major and minor. And then we're gonna turn it on and keep the lights on so you can see it real quick. Inside, if you look, these are all motherboards with all different kinds of uh, playing piece, uh, game pieces. And um, the uh, between the two masks, because you can see from the back, it looks different from the back, uh, is uh, a horse tail of a horse that had died here on the property. That's the oh, whole tail. That's the, the whole, whole tail. tail. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's is uh, this is a hip bone from either a deer or a horse. Now that now watch this. Oh, uh, now um, come here and check out the headlight. Just hold it on there for the headlight. That tail light. If you go back there, I think it's either a Buick or a Chevrolet that we ended up wiring to have the taillight moving constantly. So we work with somebody else on lighting. Work with Dick Billups, who he's a fabulous electrical engineer. And he just, every time we need help with uh, lighting on stuff, Dick comes to our rescue. So after doing it for years, we couldn't actually find some books that were very satisfying that showed a lot of the artist's work. So we found and met other Northern California assemblage artists. And just um, as a project, we decided to write a book. So this took three years. It went through several designers. There's 330 photographs from eight different Northern California artists. 
It's really a gallery of each artist. We've won eight national awards, including best uh, first place for interior design, second place for art and photography for the whole country. Wow. And right now uh, we're working with several teams to put this into national distribution.